everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 68 Cycle Hum, and I've got a literal stack of $20 pedals here in front of me. Uh, I saw someone talking up this brand on the Firefly Guitars group, and they love cheap stuff over there, and I love cheap stuff, so I figured I might as well check them out. They're only 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, the way things have been going, though, by the time I release this video, maybe they'll be $30? I don't know. Bezos, what are you doing to me? So anyways, k -Mize is the brand. Never heard of them before. But, you know, a line of five mini pedals, 20 bucks each, of course I gotta check it out. So I figured I'll unbox them all in the same video, put them together as a little mini pedal board, and then test them out. See if these are, you know, any good at all. They have kind of an attractive look too. Get it over here on camera. Minimal packaging here. But I like this kind of like two-tone box. That's the crunch distortion. We've got tremolo, analog chorus, vintage phase, and US Dream. Let's do the US Dream next. Finally, a United States Dream pedal. Or an us dream, this is about us, a dream about us. Purple. Do I wanna bother with the instructions at all? Do not disassemble or repair this unit by yourself. I make no promises. Do not drop off or bump this unit off the hard surface. Sure, whatever. Th these aren't instructions, these are just like legal mumbo jumbo. Single knob phase there. Log chorus because choruses are blue, right? And the phaser is orange. They're getting their color codes right here. I don't know about the uh, the distortions or that US Dream, whatever that does. And a yellow tremolo pedal. Tremolo. Tromola. All right, what order should I go with here? Tremolo last, phaser first, chorus after the dirts. Well, it's just gonna be kind of a mess. <laughs> this isn't gonna be a pretty presentation here. All right, so I'm gonna use my Harley Benton HB35 Plus. I figured it would give me a nice balance between some humbucker sounds and I can cut those coils for a single coil sound. Adjust my levels. Quick tune. All set to go. That's what the guitar sounds like right now. Let's get into these things. We got them all here together, all clustered together, all messy, but that's fine. They don't need to be pretty. Okay, phaser first. trying to do the phase 90 sort of thing even has an orange box single knob I mean 20 bucks if you're phaser curious and you don't want to drop a bunch of money I think this is gonna be fine the plastic knob on this <laughs> feels like a toy it feels pretty dang cheap all of them have the same knob oh and you can't really swap it for anything else's well, maybe you might be able to find a knob that you could swap that for, but do you really want to spend the effort for $20 pedal, improving its feel or 
its look or whatever. <laughs> It goes super slow. Yeah, you could spend all day going through that. <laughs> all right, on to the crunch distortion. Bring everything up to noon-ish. I don't know what this is gonna be. It could be a DS1, it could be a rat. It could be some sort of tube screamer, I don't know. It could be like a blues breaker. I think that's a rat. Yeah, that filter sort of sound is very ratty. Big volume jump off the gain control. That's not the gain control. It says gain. <laughs> they, <laughs> they mixed it up. That's the volume, that's the gain, and they have it marked in reverse. Sounds like a rat. It doesn't do the super low gain thing very well. Some rats can sound really nice with the gain all the way off. This one does not do that. Both of those sound fine so far. It's hilarious that the gain and the volume are mixed up. <laughs> but it sounds like a rat. Sounds kind of nasal, super high gain. I think it's very high gain. That is for sure. It's got that nasal filtered sweep that a rat has. Right, on to the US dream. The us dream. A, a pedal we have been dreaming of. It's our dream. Get it, us dream. I don't know where to go with that joke. Oh. <laughs> this one has the volume in the right place, I think.
this is trying to do like a Marshall in a pedal or like a Mesa in a pedal sort of thing. Probably a Mesa in a pedal. It just sounds kind of like filtered in a not fun way. I mean, a rat style pedal is gonna sound filtered, but I think this is trying to sound like an amp and it's just, there's something about it I don't like here in the room. I mean, if you're gonna use that kind of an overdrive, distortion, high gain sort of grit, it's probably gonna be the core of your tone. I wouldn't build the core of my tone around this thing. I would find something that doesn't have that kind of filtered lo-fi sound going over the top of it. it. Doesn't seem to change much with the tone control. It's like the low mids are just kind of muddy and the high mids too. Like there's just this mud factor. That's kind of a sweet spot right there. Still just kind of feels nasal in a way. shame because the game character of it is actually pretty fun. Super duper heavy. Just got that like wet blanket sort of thing going on over it. All right, on to the analog chorus. Let's go double noon on that. Well, it's a chorus. Lush. That sounds fine. Let's uh, let's throw some dirt at it. In the case of the chorus and the phaser, if you're curious about those effects or you just want a basic version of that effect without too many bells and whistles, it doesn't take up a bunch of room and cost you a 
almost nothing. I mean, 20 bucks each. I think these are fine, the chorus and the phase. Let's check out the tremolo. I'm pretty picky when it comes to tremolo. I have two tremolos. Oh, look, that's fun. It's, it's got a little uh, rate flasher there. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's a nice little extra feature for a $20 pedal. But I'm pretty picky about tremolos. I've got two that I really like. Uh, one is the Walrus Monument. The other is uh, the Milkman F-Stop, which is on my pedal board right now. Uh, something I like about both those pedals is they have volume control. I can tell you right off the bat, looking at this, it doesn't have volume control. And tremolo cuts your signal in half. It just does. The bottom part of the sine wave is where there's not as much volume as you have at the peak or when the effect is off. So I'm interested to hear what this does to my volume. If it cuts volume too much, I think it's a no-go. But let's find out. clean. It sounds like there's a little bit of an EQ thing going on there where it adds a little bit of a sparkle. See what I mean? be a little bit of a boost there. Let's, let's throw the uh, distortion in front of it. I mean, if there's a boost, it's pretty slight. There does seem to be a bit of an EQ filtering going on. Which is a nice touch in this case. It gives a little bit of a sparkle. It's one of those things where I can't tell you that this is a bad tremolo pedal. For 20 bucks, if you just need like a basic tremolo effect, it does it. That's for sure. It's a, you know, a nice stiff sine wave on there. It's not a full smooth sine wave. It might be a triangle wave. Um, it has a little bit of extra sparkle to your tone. Let's see what happens when I roll the intensity all the way off. Yeah, you can hear that. There's a little bit of a boost there. That's interesting. It's got like this preamp sort of thing going on. Oh, it could be a secret pedal for someone. So I think that's fine, that's fine. I'm picky about tremolo, but that's, it's fine. Uh, that's all right, I mean, it's a rat. It doesn't do everything I want a real rat to do. It doesn't do the low gain sort of thing very well, which some rats can do very well. But it does the high gain thing great, and it's got that filtered rat sound. This, 
I don't know. You tell me. If you thought that sounded good, chorus is fine. I already said that. They look cool. They're 20 bucks. They're fine. I mean, if you're fine with a pedal being fine, that's what these are. I mean, I'm never going to be like, oh, you want the best phaser? You got to check out the k Mize Vintage Phase. It's a, it's a Phase 90 in a different box. It's orange. It's little. I'm never going to be like, oh, this is the best chorus ever. But if you got 20 bucks and you need a chorus and you want to fill, you know, a little spot on your board and you just don't care if it's, you know, the most creative presentation of a chorus ever, it's fine. I think that's really the message here. It's fine. Except for this one, which I'm really on the fence about. The rest, yeah, okay, go ahead, go buy them. But you tell me if you think this sounds good. All right, I'm gonna play out, I'm gonna have some fun. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me, rude nasty comments, support us on Patreon. You know what, all these pedals I bought here and some of the other uh, like cheap pedals I've been buying lately to make videos with, I pay for that with Patreon money. So if you like this content and you wanna see more of it, that's the best way to ensure it is to support this channel on Patreon. And uh, you know, if you join at the uh, $10 inner circle level, there's some perks to that. You get to be in a secret group with me and Steve and all sorts of other people. All right, let's play out, let's have some fun. <laughs>
Bye, everyone.